What's going on? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today I'm going to talk to you about Lucid. I want to give you a quick overview of some of the current data points, what shorts did as well as what some analysts have been doing in regards to their upcoming Q1 earnings. I'm going to go over all that, but first make sure you hit that thumbs up and with that, let's get right to it. So Lucid did go down 1.23% today, new 52 week and all time low of a dollar or sorry, $2.35. Today there was two Fed speakers. I think overall the market took both as somewhat of a pretty good positive despite Powell, which one was one of the two, he kind of didn't give all rainbows and sunshines as what I think people were maybe anticipating. So most likely the rates are going to stay higher for longer. But the fact that it didn't really sell off significantly kind of shows that it is factored and built into the stock price already. So I think that's kind of a good positive, if that makes sense. When it comes to Lucid, though, very little volume today. So 16.5 million shares being traded. 25.9 is the average. No official news today. No SEC filings so it is fair to assume that they might be just radio silent up until their earnings and hopefully they do talk on reservations for the gravity especially if they are planning for production to start and commence in August they definitely need to open up reservations sooner rather than later so definitely is something that lucid can hopefully talk on they did post this on Twitter um, so it kind of just shows that they had an event with their newly formed partner Hodinky, if I'm saying that right, I don't know how to say that. But still, regardless, um, pretty good stuff, good marketing. I still have yet to really, really grasp a lot of Lucid's partnerships and how Lucid does stand to benefit. But I think it just gets its appearance out there with a lot of high luxury brands. So I, I think in reality, it might not really result in a lot of sales but it's maybe good for marketing. But beside the point, I feel like this is something that maybe Lucid can really elaborate on, on how, for instance, this and many other of their, I guess, partnerships, like Lucid's benefiting. Saks is a good example. Like, are those test drives that they're offering at various locations, is that actually benefiting Lucid? It's That's something I would really like to know coming from an investor standpoint. But aside from this, there's been absolutely no news. So it has just been at the mercy of the broader market. So when it comes down to shorts though, as you can kind of see, shorts did increase 504,000 shares. 31.84% of the free flow is being shorted. So another new 52 week and all time high. So kind of interesting for that, but 281.96 million shares overall are being shorted utilization is 100% and cost of borrow average is 41.85 I do bring up shorts in all of my videos doesn't matter what I cover because I like to use this as a benchmark so the fact that lucid did close red and that they did double down kind of does validate that they feel it's is justified the down day of course and starting tomorrow well more so one time a week I'm just going to for shits and giggles pardon my French um, but just do the top three or top five squeeze stocks uh, in the EV sector because a lot of people like to bring up and just kind of gravitate towards heavily shorted stocks so I'm just going to compare lucid for instance to Rivian Tesla a lot of the big names out there so I think some people might get some pretty good fun entertainment out of that but beside the point like I mentioned analyst ratings there was a new one that did come out down the pipeline non-actual rating sorry but in regards to their actual um, earnings and estimate so I have been monitoring to see if there's been any changes for earnings per share or revenue and for their earnings per share still seven analysts with a consensus of negative 26 per share and so that's kind of this norm that hasn't really changed but there was one analyst that did recently up their rating or their estimate and so it went from 152.49 million to 157.13 million so there is an analyst out there that clearly maybe sees a little bit more additional upside so I think that's overall a fairly good positive. So we'll just have to wait and see what does come down the pipeline in a couple of weeks. But uh, obviously, these don't really say which analyst it was or whatever else. So as I've mentioned, I'm just going to be monitoring this to see if there has been in any changes. And there was one change, so I just wanted to bring it up. So some analyst out there is a little bit more bullish on Lucid, which is a nice change of events because if you are looking at any and all articles out there, there's a lot of bearishness out there. So let me know your thoughts on that, if it's justified or not. And then moving on, looking at, for instance, options. So options was a little bit low for the dollar value, $535,000 
dollars in calls 2.37 million inputs sediment wise though 73 percent of all the options being done today were bearish so people clearly were anticipating um, maybe a downside or to continue to trend down uh, i don't know but I did find this very abnormal and not really matching with the stock price per se. Looking at the options, so of the call options that were being purchased, you do see a consensus for it to be roughly above 250 by the end of this week, so more of a recovery. And then looking at puts, you do see a consensus for it to be sub 250. So in my opinion, this might be a temporary bottom because the risk versus reward is very much in favor of upside. And also on a side note, it did bounce off of a very strong support. So that might be a positive thing. Looking right here, these are some of the transactions that did occur on the secondary market above $100,000. And then these are some of the transactions that did occur on the dark pool. So dark pool has been a little bit more popular as what we already do know, frequently linked to shorting. So shorting as usual is just, a very very profitable business for against lucid at least so it's very interesting i would really like to know i don't know if we'll ever find out but it'd be really nice to know once that new sec transparency rule kicks into force on who is exactly shorting lucid because whoever is doing that must have a vendetta against the pif there's no other logical thing and my video that i'm going to be putting out probably tomorrow where it does compare the short interest, for instance, of, like I said, Lucid, Rivian, Neo, and many others, you'll see Lucid is like in a whole different ball game. So it is fair to assume, like I said, someone just has a vendetta against either maybe Peter, it could be Peter, did something wrong to somebody i'm not really sure or the pif or some other entity i'm not really sure let me know your thoughts on that but right now with it closing at two dollars and forty cents it is trading between this s2 and this s1 so it did attempt to break out today with the broader market but unfortunately this s1 is a very strong resistance so that is going to be a point to watch for going into tomorrow so 243 and then vice versa two dollars and 34 cents is a very strong support in fact it did bounce off of that today that general area so i think all in all that's a good sign at least it goes to show that maybe it might have a potential move higher into this s1 to the pivot so just kind of watch for this 243 going into tomorrow on the actual chart itself let's just zoom out for a second so it is lower percentile of the boiling band stochastic is just mind-blowingly oversold so for whatever reason if lucid does want to put out a good piece of news of substance that doesn't have some strings attached that's not just a regular old partnership let's say it's something very positive operationally you will see a very big rush of value investors so hopefully their upcoming earnings or q1 earnings they do give a lot of talking points for the foreseeable future and they don't just kind of leave us high and dry so that's just some expectations at least and keep in mind march or sorry uh, april the 22nd they are opening up the questions where retail can pose to management please 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 put any questions you have in the comments below maybe we can all as retail compile together put it on twitter get everyone just logically the best questions out there and post them to peter not just all all over the place and have like the same question just worded five different ways like Hopefully this time around, we can actually have very good questions posed to Peter. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. Looking here at the momentum indicator shows number of retail investors have been getting in today. So big money wasn't really getting in. Retail has been, was buying the dip. So if you are one of those individuals that did buy the dip with Lucid, Give yourself a shout out in the comments below. I feel like at these prices, I almost feel tempted every single day to want to buy, um, but it's just the technicals, I don't know. Uh, around the $2 range, I definitely will be buying, but at these prices, I'm tempted, but I still want to hear something concrete from them in their Q1. And I feel like that's the only thing that's really hesitating or I'm hesitating with is just the unknown. I wanna make sure that I hear from Peter's mouth that the gravity is going to be starting production either in August or sooner rather than later. There's no hiccups in regards to the name and that in essence, like they should be free and clear, no issues whatsoever. I do remember, I think the last earnings, they didn't really give guidance, but in Q3, they did say that they were preparing for the gravity and only, I think it was like 70 to 80% of all the parts 
uh, that were actually ordered and just ready to go. So I want that to be at 100%, no issues whatsoever. Like, I don't know. That's just my opinion, of course. Uh, you guys, whatever floats your boat. Let me know your thoughts on Lucid. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And if you guys do have any questions that you want to pose to management, throw them in the comments below. Um, I can definitely start to compile that together and pushing them out every single video just so people can kind of critique and maybe we can have one common question posed. Um, again, I would really like ESS. I'm sure just some operational updates in regards to the gravity, maybe some targets just for the gravity solely, maybe some new targets for AMP2 to see exactly where they're at for that. Um, but still, there's a lot of different things that Lucid should really give updates on, so we'll just have to wait and see. One final thing, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they do give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7, so a $35 total value. Pretty good return on investment for just throwing $100 at the account. So make sure you guys take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching. <music>